There's all, so I can tell you that there's a set of standards over here and we don't do it necessarily always through a text-based way of doing it. We do through an authentic way of can you do it? And if you can do it in our schools, you get credit for it because sometimes you can't verbalize. As a matter of fact, people who are approaching mastery have a very difficult time saying what they know to do or what they're trying to figure out and, and have gone very deeply around people in the disciplines or in the trades, in the crafts. So how you assess somebody is based on performance. And performance could be a real performance, but it can also be how you act and behave in an environment. And you're looking at not just can they do it, but how do they work well with the other people around them in a community of practice. Now, people use these, this language of community of practice I'm talking about a real community of practice where people are very, very serious about getting better around the things that they want to get better at, making the world better and, and that mattering to them. That's real, real different. So that's real world assessment where young people are pegged to real world standards by the people who actually do the work and the school is involved looking at their standards and matching those up. That's part of the work and the role of a teacher. If I was to say it simply, the most powerful form of assessment is self-assessment. The most powerful form of assessment is asking a child or a young adult or a youth, how do you think you did? And if it matters to them, they'll tell you. Well, I gotta read these three books, I gotta read, meet these two people, I gotta travel to this place, and I got this plan to do that. So how you think you did is a question that's hardly ever asked. And it has to be asked in a culture where, because kids know when we're bluffing and when it's a game. Well, they'll give you a canned answer. But if it's a real answer and it's a real culture, they'll tell you because they know you're going to act on it. So that's, that's the difference. So an assessment question is, how do you think you did? The other piece about assessment is, what does it mean to the people who actually do that work in the real world? What does it also mean to the teacher, the manager, or facilitator of learning in the school? And of course, what does it mean to the parents? How do they think that their child did and how can they give them feedback? So in our schools, there's presentations of learning and exhibitions and culminations where parents are invited in, the peers are, their peers are invited in, the people who are their or, um, students' mentors are invited in, and of course, their teacher advisors. And they present what they've learned over the course of a span of time, It'd be there a semester or a quarter or a trimester and they're given feedback and they have to present their work and document it through a portfolio system.